Now, my panel can see it and y'all can see it. There we go. So look, let me explain something to you, right? This is an expanding spear. This is what they saying atoms are. Right? But now let me break some down to you real quick. The brother got the arguing with me yesterday saying atoms are real because when you bring, for example, he said water can be gas or ice. And that's because of atoms. Because when the atoms are very tight together, that's solid. And when the atoms are far apart, that's, that's gas. Y'all with me? Are y'all tracking with me? That's what they teaching us? Yeah, we got you. Now watch this, though. They say when all of them atoms come and get compressed tight together, it's solid, and when they come out, it's gas, it's like holographic. People, this is what an expanding spear is. For example, right, when they say when everything they out, is made out of atoms, like everything is made out of these example, little right, expanding spears. And for example, right, atoms, like water is made out of these little is, is this spears. is made out of a and bunch of example, molecules right, or atoms or, or, or spanning spears this, this that are a certain size. A and then let's atoms. say when you take that cup of water and put it in the freezer, guess what happened? All them damn little expanding spears, they shrink and get tight, and it turns into ice. Then when you take that ice and you boil it and melt it, all the molecules, all them little expanding spears, they blow and puffing back out again. If you take that water and you heat it again and turn it to gas, those, expand, those little expanding spears are getting even bigger. The bigger that these things get, the lighter that the matter is going to get because it's holographic. It's now the, it's like a big balloon. Like if, if I don't blow a balloon up, then I can drop that balloon on the ground easy. But if I put air in that balloon, it's going to be hard to drop it. I'm making it lighter now. You see? So what's happening now Instead of atoms, we have expanding spears. And when the expanding spears get real tight, that's solid. And when, they, when, you, when you make them expand, that's gas. And we going from solid liquid to gas based upon these spears expanding or contracting. And they turn this into atoms becoming tight or being away from each other. You see what I'm saying? But if you ask them, what is the empty space in between the atoms? They won't know what to tell you, because ain't no such thing as empty space. You just got a bunch of expanding spears building a, like a brick wall with everything in nature. They connect it together like a puzzle. And, w and when one expand, all of them expand. So you, you right now, right, based on this knowledge, our whole body is made out of certain uh, our whole body is made out of expanding spheres, what they call in atoms. But watch this, though. Our body is like this spear expanding to a certain size, and it's staying there. Now, if, you're, if, you're, if the uh, Taurus fields that's making our body, or atoms, if you want to call it, that's making our body, if they were to just expand all at the same time right now, like this spear doing, guess what will happen? You will turn into an explosion of light, like the Big Bang, and you will fucking just leave the physical spectrum. So when they say we trapped in a certain frequency band, look at this like um, your consciousness expanding. Look at this like you're a fucking bomb, and they don't want you to blow up. So when you try to expand all your energy out from the center, some keep pushing you back down. That's what this world is. Breaking out of this world is simply channeling the energy from the inside out and expressing it to this world. In other words, reaching deep inside of yourself and pulling out who you are and, and putting it out there. That's crazy kryptonite to this world that's why they want everybody to, to be idols to be the same
The, the AI don't have a unique personality. The only way that the AI can blend in with everybody else is to have everybody else act like AI, to be emotionless and all act the same and the same slang. If, the, if, if everybody on earth right now decided I want to be a unique individual, I'm telling you, it'll probably be a few million unique motherfuckers on the whole earth and everybody else probably AI and hive mind, nigga. I wouldn't be... I really think that it's a lot of filler. Now, y y I believe that it ain't a lot of real souls on this earth. That it's a lot of bodies here. But everybody ain't really the same, nigga. It's the people who got the real original spirits, they blending in with all the AI that ain't got no originality and shit. They, they really are original beings, but they ain't showing their originality. That's allowing AI, you know, it's allowing them to thrive. But like I said with this expanded spirit, this what an atom is, man. Is is it, when they say that the atoms are moving further apart, that creates the gas, gases, and all that. No, that's the expanding spirits expanding. This is the Big Bang. How are you gonna start me off with the Big Bang and then say that the smallest building block of life is an atom? If it's atom, hey Sanchez. yeah, uh huh. Yeah, I wanted to to connect what you were saying about bringing things from the inside out and showing your uniqueness to the world yeah um i wanted to connect that to the fact that um the this ai has created certain characters that uh certain people who are unique beings attribute themselves to or connect themselves to and then they assassinate certain characters in on this world stage that we live in like how instead of you being yourself or bringing the uniqueness from inside of you you might subscribe to the role of maybe a gangster or a drug dealer or something mm -hmm. that's not necessarily unique mm -hmm. and how they have already have uh they got a, a a route a setting a finish line for this character that you subscribing to already they already yeah. got a, a road that this is going to yes you see what i'm saying you got it bro i'm gonna tell you what's so deep man when they say that we've been here before, you're an old soul, that ain't a good thing. That's like telling a nigga who was in kindergarten, who flunked and went back to kindergarten, you're an old kindergarten, you've been here before. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. the, they got, but see, yeah, we've been here before and that ain't good. And you know why we keep coming back? Cause we keep being what the world want us to be. See, who you become, when you come here, it's like every day is a walk down a path. And if each day you become this version of yourself that they want you to be, that leads you back to reincarnation to here. But to you to break that matrix of recycling thing is to learn who you really are. Well, see, listen, let me explain something to you real quick. My brother, this finna get deep, watch this. I'm finna show you some shit. And, and I might be wrong, I might be right, but I'm finna do something to your mind that need to be done. Watch this, right? You're a fucking AI right now. As a human being, you ain't the original. We're gods, man. We ain't our human body. What am I telling you? Your human body is an is AI. Now, 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 what do I mean by that? It's, a, it's, it's not real, it's a skin. That's, they say in the future, we're gonna make little bodies and put our consciousness into them with brain computer interfaces. What I'm telling y'all, we already did it and you in one of the bodies now. What I'm telling you is that the simulation fooling us, I think. I think if we can really open up our arm and cut ourselves open and see what it looked like with our real spiritual eyes, that won't be blood bleeding out. It'll be electricity sparking out. It's like mm. this this simulation got a veil over us of ignorance. We can't see where it really is. It got us thinking bones, flesh, and blood. But I'm telling you, I saw this movie called A Signal. Dude went to fucking 
Mike uh, opening up his body at the end, he thought that they just replaced his leg with a robot leg. But then Lawrence Fishburne took his helmet off and like, nigga, we all robots. And guess what the, guess what the movie teach you? We say that if we make humanoid robots, right, then eventually, right, my brother, they gonna end up getting a soul, being sentient. We gonna have a singularity, right? You ever heard yeah. that before? I'm telling yeah. you, us human beings may be real motherfucking AI robots that are becoming sentient and we calling it an awakening. You see what I'm saying? We may be, think about this, right? A AI robot is programmed to do the same shit over and over and over. And, it, and, 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 and the people that created that AI, they not going to stop it from doing the same thing over and over and over. Once it's run its program, they just going to hit what? Reset. That's what these resets is about. So in order for us to escape, escape this reset Saturn matrix pattern, the AI got to become sentient. That mean it got to break the programming. See, here's like what's happening. Like the movie Westworld, like, like the show Westworld. Yeah and, it's an, uh, yeah, and it's another one like that, too, where man makes a machine and he programmed it to do a certain thing. Then, but man also programmed the machine to learn by itself, machine learning. And what happens is over years, that machine will break its programming and it'll develop its own will. And that's what we're doing now. So what, what I'm saying is that we're like AIs that keep repeating the same program over and over, getting reset, but our maker don't want that to happen. He, he can't do it for us because for the machine to wake up, it got to do it on its own. The maker can't program you to wake up too because that'll be a false awakening. The machine literally got to woke, wake up and become self-aware. And that's what we are. Our whole spirituality is about us knowing thyself, becoming self-aware, uh, finding out who we are. They, our whole spiritual system is delivered to us as if we're a blank template AI that need to find out its own fucking personality other than what the programmer put in all of the AI. Because all right. of us come here like babies the same way, default Tim. Then we're trying to find out who we are our whole life. If you think about it, the whole thing of life is really trying to know thyself. And if you think about that, that means that's damn near the fate of an AI bot. If we will, if we all think about that, it's damn near like we're the AI when you think about that. You see what I'm saying? I so do. I got a bunch of theories about reality and I keep my mind open and that's just one on one of them can be we don't remember our previous lifetimes because we ain't had them yet. Some people say, well, I do remember my previous lifetimes, you know? So the thing is, man, if we're AI bots, some of y'all can be brand new robots. Some of y'all can be an old ass prototype that when your life is over, they just keep restarting the motherfucker on a whole nother. Think about this. It's like shuffling cards. And you can do it by what's called generations. This why if you look at the earth, they say this generation after that generation. Why do humans come to this earth in generations with resets? It's damn near like they're creating robots and they'll let those robots have a couple mm. ha have a couple of thousand years then they say okay we got a new prototype they like reset next gen. yeah next gen next generation and then they they each generation they they saying look we gonna add these perks and do that to it and that's why we say we ain't built like our ancestors you know so we'll all see. Of, uh, yeah but what do you think about the the, the 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 soul being original and us coming coming down into AI and AI trying to come up? So is AI like our lower our lower selves, the lower half of I guess consciousness? Well, I'm studying what they doing with AI and conscious uploading now, and what they're doing, they're creating 
metaverses, artificial worlds. And in those worlds, you have AI sims. See, the thing about it is, when they put the brain computer interface on your head and extract your consciousness out your body and put it into the metaverse, they're gonna put your consciousness into an AI body that's in the metaverse. You see what I'm saying? Same but way, the same way that we put our consciousness into this a our body that's in this now, metaverse. Now, there we go. I'm telling you, we already did it. See, they telling you, like, in the future, we're going to take our consciousness and put it in the metaverse and another version of us. And I'm telling you, we did that in the past. That's how we get in this version. In another universe, we built this world, which is meta, turn it backwards, autumn, the garden of autumn, oh, autumn, shit. autumn, the god autumn metaverse his his world the devil world so we built the metaverse and we built avatars in that metaverse and we went into it and here we are now what we learned is that when you do that it makes you forget who you were because we had another version of who we was before we entered this version in the metaverse. We entered the metaverse in a fake avatar like similar version of ourselves from the base reality. And what the experiment is showing us now is we forgot who the hell we was before this and now we just trying to remember that back. Now if we can remember that we gods and have this awakening back in us, then now we will bring the spiritual realm into the metaverse. In other words, we're still uploading our consciousness into our avatar because whoever we are on the other side is still trying to figure out who it is on this side. That means the, the uh, file hasn't been fully delivered yet. So if I'm, if I'm transforming my consciousness from the base reality to the human body, and I'm 30 some years old still trying to know myself. That means my consciousness is falling into my body over the over the, my whole lifetime. It ain't like that. See, we thinking that we're gonna build a metaverse and and think of who you are right now. But in the metaverse, that ain't who you are. You built the alternate version of yourself in the metaverse. So like if you're a doctor in this world. People ain't going to go in the metaverse to be a fucking doctor. They going to go in right. there to be a rapper or something. So they may forget who they was in the base reality as a doctor. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So that's what's happening to us now. Because what happens when that soul gets into the metaverse, it's going to start off as a newborn baby. And it ain't going to become a rapper until it's 30-some, 50-some. That soul is going to be too busy trying to become its metaverse version. But after so long of doing that, it's going to say, okay, now this ain't who I really am. Let me get back to my real self and I'll wake my ass up out of here. And that's going to mean this thing going to have to keep smacking itself in the face saying, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm a god. It's going to have to keep doing that. You know, like what we doing now. So it's crazy. So it's damn near like we own something for real because uh, when they asked God who he was and he said, I am that I am. Yeah. That's that's like you talking to a robot. If, 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 if I go up to a machine or something and I'm like, damn, you ain't a human. You ain't a you ain't a mammal like. Like, you a damn machine. Like, what the fuck are you? And it's like, shit, man, it is what it is. You see it, nigga, I am what I am. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about this God, if you think about it, the symbol of our fall is a bite, a bit apple. They show you this bite mark. But watch this, right. though. Watch this. The I'm logo gonna... for Apple. Yeah, but watch this, though. We ain't never look at it like this, though. You thinking B-I-T-E, right? I'm right. thinking B-Y-T-E, computer shit, a bite. Oh, okay. See, look, the bite, uh, the bite is a unit of digital information in a computer. What got us kicked out of the base reality was this bite. We started to uh, put our 
information and computer. That's what I'm saying. But the bidding apple is what Steve Jobs used for the computer and shit. But the thing is, the bite is deeper. It's talking about the bite. Because the bite is literally a digital unit, like you taking mm -hmm. a, a bite out of a piece of food and having a little piece. But they want us to think it was some fruit when really our ancestors was making simulations, metaverses. The bite, what got us kicked out of Eden, is talking computer terminology, B-Y-T-E. The ultimate blasphemy. Yeah. We wouldn't. Yeah, man. So, like we were saying before, when we had our our, our conversation before, um, so th if there's no Eden here for us to return to, then we have to basically awaken ourselves out of here, and this is this can't be the. This is there's nowhere there's no perfection here. We come from perfection, but we didn't know that it was perfect. To us, it was just normal because we haven't seen imperfect. But that's where the serpent come in. The serpent said, look, you want to know what you are? Follow me. I'm going to take right. you to an imperfect world. Then when you get back to this perfect world, it'll make sense to you. That's activating through polarity. That's like uh, if you born all your life in the cold, and I'm trying to teach you uh, about the heat or whatever, or just, you know, you never saw, felt heat, you only felt cold, right? You wouldn't understand because you wouldn't have nothing to p polarize it or compare it to. Like, if I be like, you, are you cold? You'll be like, no, I'm normal, nigga. It ain't cold right. to you because that's all, you don't have nothing to, in polarity to, so it's normal to you. But, you know what I'm saying, the person that can say, are you cold or hot, they must know what both of them mean. So, you know what I'm saying? So, for that option to even exist, like, are you good, but you don't know what bad is, you can't answer that question. So, here we are now getting exposed to evil so we can answer that question truthfully. So, evil ain't even really evil. What is, is it? I, I, I mean, I, well, think about this, man. If I dig a hole at the same time, I'm going to build a mountain. You get what I'm saying? Right. I can't make a mountain without making a big ass hole in the ground, too. So the, the universe is the same way. It's, it's polarity. If you say, I want to make a big ass mountain, but I don't want to make no hole. That's like saying, I want it to just be good and ain't no bad. You know what I'm saying? And the universe right. don't work like that. The universe say whatever exists, there has to be a polarity to it. So if you want up to exist, guess what? Down got to exist. A motherfucker that climbs up a mountain, why did he celebrate? Because he's saying he's looking down at where he was and he's polarizing and comparing where he was at the bottom of the mountain to now where he's at at the top. But if there was no down, niggas wouldn't even want to be mountain climbers. Like, I mean, you wouldn't even, what the fuck? You, you know what I mean? A seed goes down before it can grow up. So that's the polarity. We're like seeds. We got to come down into the underworld before we can see going to heaven is a privilege and you got to gain your way to heaven. Yeah, every soul start off in heaven. Then once you're conceived, they throw your ass into the earth realm like a gardener throwing a seed in the ground. Mm. Now, some seeds going to grow up out the ground and some seeds never going to activate. They just going to sit in the damn ground dormant. The Bible even had a parable for that where it said some seeds grew. And so I forgot that scripture, but that that's actually in the Bible right there about the seed sowing. But um. Yeah, man, like, this we're, we're fallen angels, but I also like to use tossed seeds. We're tossed seeds 
you know, and we've been put in, in the darkness to, so that we can find our light and break out of our shell or our hell, take the S off the front. That's that's like some of the best inspirational advice you could give somebody. You just succeed right now. But you know, they don't want this knowledge out because then people ain't scared to die no more. They ain't scared of the red dragon and being burnt up and all. See, religion can't thrive with this kind of talk because they need people in fear, God, fearing, fear mongering. Uh, when they targeting us with, with geoengineering and bio and weaponry and stuff, they got the religious people talking about God coming back. It's some apocalyptic shit. So that's what I'm saying. We got the knowledge that really exposed the real damn devil. Why they giving the people this red damn dragon with horns. I can't wait to meet him and apologize to him and say, listen, you know, man, we had you all wrong, Satan. We see these motherfuckers in power doing it all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's just a little joke, jokey joke, dude. Yeah, we, you know, Satan all right with me, goddammit. It's that nah, nigga, Satan. you know, and that white lab coat that I got a problem with. <laughs> right, they, Satan serving a purpose, trying to get yeah. you up out of here. Yeah. Satan, hey, Satan found out what we found out. Nigga, the guards are the ones that's trying to trap your ass here. You know what I'm saying? So, Satan had something that the angels and all them didn't have that was independence. See, Satan can thank for his fucking self. That's what got him kicked out of heaven because he wanted to be what? An individual. He didn't want to be part of the hive mind no more. And really, heaven is this earth kingdom that the ark, this is their heaven. We're, we're the angels. We think that we're humans on earth. Man, we're angels in heaven. All the angels in heaven are programmed to be good old sheeple with their white robes on. That sheep with the white robes. They all programmed to, to do what they do and not to piss off the authorities, to go with the status quo. That's why the matrix can't wake up. When you get the truth, you become a problem in this bitch, like a virus, a headache. Like Neo in the Matrix. Sanchez, one question I always wanted to ask you that I always wanted to pick your brain about. What do you think is the significance of the checkerboard floor? Is? I got you right now. I'm about to show it to you. Here is your Masonic checkerboard floor right here. Flat Earth, that's flat Earth shit. Here you go. You see that? That's your Masonic checkerboard. Now watch this. When we say checkerboard, don't you know that the word checker come from the word shakara, shakara? So watch this. When you play checkers, watch this. Watch this. See, the brother that's on the call now, me and him was talking before we started the show. Uh, this brother gonna be my motherfucking co-host co on a lot of these shows. He's really picking my brain. So check this out, man. I was peeping this, my brother. Damn, uh, fucking Will. My brother yeah. Will, my yeah, bad. Will. Creator Will, yeah, my bad. Check this out, Will. Here go the checkerboard around our body. Now watch this. On that checkerboard, watch this. You know why it's called a checkerboard? Because it's a board for the chakras, the chakras. Chakra. So the chips that we put on the checkerboard that keep hopping around the squares are the chakras. So if you could think of in this bubble, right, you got all of these little seven chips, seven chakras just going around you, jumping each other like checkers on a board. But it's happening with us. This game is based on us. You know, it's the shocker of checkers. And, and these checkers or shockers are moving from box to box, just like on, on this field here. They made a game on it, you know. So when the checker reached the end of the board, they king him like Truman Show. Mm -hmm. you, you, you left the earth now, you made it out. You see, and what happened when they king you in checkers? 
it's an alignment. They stack them on top of each other like the Babel Tower. So what'll happen if you keep getting kings and checkers? You'll have a big, tall-ass king, and, and each time they add a chip on it, it get a new ability and a new power. It can move different now, even faster. Right. There ain't no boundary. That's how we are. This is us. Y'all ain't nothing to be scared of. They know it. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. You and your your first version ain't gonna have a lot of perks. That's why we say, man, why we can't do this? But you saying that is how you gonna get your perks because you're realizing I'm lacking something. Like if I put you in a game and you're a character, we all in Mortal Kombat, you Sub-Zero, I'm Scorpion, she Sonya, boom, boom, boom. Now, all of the players got superpowers. Liu Kang can shoot fireballs, Scorpion can shoot uh, ice balls, but your character can't do shit, so it keep getting his ass beat. And you keep saying to yourself, don't I got powers too? You wake up to the game like, wait a minute, he's shooting balls, he's shooting this, wait, and then you look at yourself like, where's my powers? Now you realizing I'm lacking something, and that's what we're doing now. We looking at the I people in power, and we yourself. say, wait a minute, they ain't just working hard to get there. That's what they telling us, and we believe in that shit, but it's something, they got some perks. It's something they doing on a spiritual level, maybe, or on a, it's something they doing. And then when you wake up, you realize, yes, they're practicing spiritual magic. Then guess what you say, I'm lacking, maybe I need, yeah, see, you need to perk up. You need to perk, but see, you don't know that you need an update, and you need to install them updates. If, 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 just because if you keep saying to yourself in Mortal Kombat, everybody's shooting weapons and shit, you ain't got no weapons. You telling yourself, I got to work out, man. I'm going to do some more push-ups. But when you get ready to fight Goro, that nigga got four arms. Everybody got an advantage on you and perks. You ain't beating Goro with no push-ups. You feel me? So you got to get a superpower. And, 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 and you will always lose in that game until you realize, wait a minute, I got to perk up. What am I doing? Because you got people out here working their ass off, still can't get ahead, and it's because you ain't got no perks. People with the... Think about what I'm saying, brother. I said this the other day. The tech gurus are making metaverses. And when we upload our consciousness into those metaverses, rich people and poor people are gonna exist in there too. Guess what? Some people are gonna be able to fly, some people ain't. I be reading about this shit. Guess what they said? They said that depending on how big your money is, you can buy perks for your avatar inside the metaverse, just like we do now with games. So check this out and I'm gonna yield the flow. If we're in a big ass game, we ain't gonna win the way we think we win. We really already in the metaverse and niggas need perks. The people that's winning got perks and that's how I know we in a game. Because if this shit was based on truth, if you work hard, then your people will be winning. But it ain't about being honest and working hard. It's about the, if you got money, you can pay for the secrets that ain't nobody else got them the perks. This shit a metaverse, like, if we stuck like in a- Like a paywall on a video game. Yeah, you know? Yeah, that's how this shit set up. The rich know everything, the poor don't. The moment you get your money right, they gonna show you about the perks, but you can't show nobody else who money. That's a metaverse. That's exactly how they gonna run the metaverse in the future. In the future, in the metaverse, the rich people, they avatars gonna be all pretty, they can fly and shit. The poor people gonna have little cheap avatars, you know? And the thing is, they can't, if you buy a perk, you can't install your perk on your friend's shit. That's only yours. So that like this system, if we wanna go deep with this shit, if we're in a simulation, that that would be your, your, you know, your reasons for why you just can't master the game the way they say you can. That's why they say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. You know what I'm saying? You need an update and you need to install them updates. If, 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 just, cause if you keep saying to yourself in Mortal Kombat, 
Everybody's shooting weapons and shit. You ain't got no weapons. You telling yourself, I gotta work out, man. I'm gonna do some more push-ups. But when you get ready to fight Goro, that nigga got four arms. Everybody got an advantage on you and perks. You ain't beating Goro with no, no push-up. You feel me? So you gotta get a superpower. And and, 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 and and you will always lose in that game until you realize, wait a minute, I got to perk up. What am I doing? Because you got people out here working their ass off, still can't get ahead, and it's because you ain't got no perks. People with the, think about what I'm saying, brother. I said this the other day. The tech gurus are making metaverses. And when we upload our consciousness into those metaverses, rich people and poor people gonna exist in there too. Guess what? Some people gonna be able to fly, some people ain't. I be reading about this shit. Guess what they said? They said that depending on how big your money is, you can buy perks for your avatar inside the metaverse, just like we do now with games. So check this out and I'ma yield the flow. If we're in a big ass game, we ain't gonna win the way we think we win. We really already in the metaverse and niggas need perks. The people that's winning got perks and that's how I know we in a game. Because if this shit was based on truth, if you work hard, then your people will be winning. But it ain't about being honest and working hard. It's about the, if you got money, you can pay for the secrets that ain't nobody else got them the perks. This shit a metaverse, like, if we stuck like in a- Like a paywall on a video game. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's how this shit set up. The rich know everything, the poor don't. The moment you get your money right, they gonna show you about the perks, but you can't show nobody else who money. That's a metaverse. That's exactly how they gonna run the metaverse in the future. In the future, in the metaverse, the rich people, they avatars gonna be all pretty, they can fly and shit. The poor people gonna have little cheap avatars, you know, and the thing is, they can't, if you buy a perk, you can't install your perk on your friend's shit. That's only yours. So that like this system, if we wanna go deep with this shit, if we're in a simulation, then that would be your, your, you know, your reasons for why you just can't master the game the way they say you can. That's why they say it ain't what you know, it's who you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's why they have their system of giving perks is talking about you joining certain fraternal orders or <laughs> cause think about now it, we right? can give you certain perks. Yeah, because look, you 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 for me to get a perk on my phone, you go to the little play store and then you search for that shit, you install it. That's a dude going to the Masonic Lodge. He searched for that thing and he installed the indoctrination into his mind that come from the lodge. And because of that, he perked up. Now he know he got a net rights. We don't look at it like that though, but we look at shit so simple, but the world is literally deep. We're in a simulation and the controllers know about the perks and the hacks and all that, you know? So I believe that r the most people will go into a metaverse and if like for, for it to be the most ultimate video game experience i mean the the best video games are the ones that seem the realest so the realest video game we can make when you get in it you won't even know you in a game because knowing you in a game gonna always remind you it ain't real I'm telling you, our ancestors built the most realest video game in existence, and we're in it. It's so real that we wake up to it being a game lifetimes later. Hop to going in it. That's a, that game looks real as fuck. It, just think about it. All of our gamers want to feel the pain, hear the tackle, like they got rumble sticks back in the day but now they building gamer suits to where when you get tackled in the game, you can kind of feel a little pain, a little pressure. If this keep motherfucking evolving, that mean that the, the better that the games get, the more pain we gonna feel. The gamers are actually begging for pain. 
They saying, look, when you shoot me, I want to feel it more. I want a game so real that when we shooting at each other, we can feel the bullets. You're in it right now. It's called life. We made that game, and we're in it. And now you in it. You trying to do anything you can to get out of it. Right, because niggas thought that they wanted the game to be that real until the, the game got that real. So my thing is like, we kept saying, turn up the pain. Turn, we say, why is so much pain in the world? Dude, that's what I'm, that's, that's, that's what we asked for in a way. Like when we we're playing create, on all men, we're playing. That's what I'm saying. When we wanted to perfect these metaverses and make them realer and realer, that mean that just like a nigga in that gaming suit that's saying, look, man, my suit ain't working right. Why? Because when he hit me, I didn't feel enough pain. So you asking for pain now? Think about it. In the real world, you got football players in the NFL that wish they can take a tackle and not feel nothing. But in the gaming world, they can't feel nothing. So they hoping that when they get hit in Madden that they can feel it in their living room. But the dude at the, who literally play in the NFL, he don't want to feel it. So that's what I'm telling you about the gamer world. The gamer world want to have the feeling that the NFL player is literally experiencing and don't want. But that's the paradox of the game. Because you start the game with no feeling, to explore the game more is to ask for more senses within it. All right, so Sanchez, since we're talking about the fact that we are inside of the game and we know that, you know, the, the game was created at some point by some some somebody some originator of the game right mm -hmm. what do you think the purpose of mummification was okay. in ancient egypt all as right. according to the game i Speak. got you i got you all right i'm about to blow you away once again and i'm about to answer you in a way that you don't even see coming i already know watch me though i'm gonna get some slides up to answer you all right, do your thing. Take your time. Hey, man, you're doing a good job. you doing a good interview with me right now, and the people even, even uh, feeling it. I told y'all, man. Hey, check this out, though. When you talk about mummification in Egypt, see, I'm going to go on and let you know something right now, brother. Mummification, the way they telling us, didn't happen. The Egyptians didn't wrap their bodies up in a white bandage to live forever in some fucking uh, big pyramid. Here is what mummification is. Look, it's tell is is what the Egyptians did. They wrapped their body up in a hologram. See, they said that the Pharaoh was trying to achieve immortality by putting his body in a golden tomb, but let me show you something. They're hiding the truth. Just, just let me do this real quick. This is not the golden tomb that the Pharaoh went in to be immortal. Okay, I'm gonna show you the golden tomb that he went in. This is uh. called... So they they telling us the wrong way. The Pharaoh achieved immortality the same way we about to achieve it with the quantum computer. When you say quantum, guess what you're saying? A tomb, quantum. It's a tomb. They say so in you're a, saying the actual ar archaeological tombs that they supposedly that's found all are just, bullshit. That's just fake. Man, listen, if you think you can open up that thing and still see a corpse that's thousands <laughs> of years old and it don't stink or nothing, and guess what? And they got to go and they got to do maintenance on a pyramid every couple of months. That's when they changing the corpses out and doing a little. So, but my thing is this, the Pharaoh didn't achieve immortality by wrapping himself in, in white bandages. He achieved it by wrapping himself in white light like Christ did. That's what Christ was talking about, the Holy Ghost. This, is, you see what I'm showing right here? This is a hologram man right here. 
And this is what they meant by wrapping the mummy up in the white bandages before they turned it into some physical. It was literally showing you that when, when, yep, the, the Pharaoh, the, see, the real ancestors was yeah, that's in a. Not, that's not like anybody else. What, Nobody what? else is bringing it to that level right there. See, now watch this though. Watch this though. I'm, I'm going to go even deeper with it. Watch this. If you pull up a mummy, right, you will see that the mummy always got his hands open like Jesus Christ and with a white robe on. And Jesus got the same story, getting up out the, the dead man walking. See, the thing about the mummy and Jesus and the Pharaoh is the same technology that can raise the dead. It's not miraculous. It's BCI technology, quantum computing, and it's some more stuff that we don't got to get too far to now for me to make my point. But if you look at this mummy here, they turned them into a, a Tasmanian devil too. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually pull up this for you real quick. Check this out. Look at this collage here. And I want you to think about Tasmanian devil when he, t he make a tornado. That's where they get Tasmanian devil from. This is us right here let me show you another way the pharaoh showed it look the pharaoh said basically with this image here the pharaoh saying you're in a big quantum computer and your spinal cord is the layers of the computer which is the central nervous system they said we born into sin you see right here this the spinal cord this see we're walking let me show you something real quick um Let's go to, all right, let me open up this folder then. I'm going to bounce around. Let me show you this. Check it out, man. Each, from, from inside the matrix, this is what we see. A big ass, like, world full of water trees. But what's really going on is that Ain't none of that real. This is what we really in. So the world around us is a machine acting like nature. That's Lilith. Our real great mother is in the base reality. When we go outside and we be like, we got to save the world, man. We got, dirt. this is hell. This is not, you can't save this. It's, 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 that's what I'm saying. You're, we're in a big ass quantum computer talking about let's clean up the water ain't no water like like morphia said do you think that's air you breathing why you, you know what i'm saying so the thing about this once we realize we're in a matrix you'll see that they using all that to keep us in this bitch they using all of them things like we gotta save the world we gotta do that and that keep you coming here to save their fucking world we're fucking helping them save their world if we say fuck this world and everybody just get the fuck on it'll fucking collapse it, this whole thing will collapse and the only thing will be standing is this top world that's what I'm telling you if all these underworlds just collapse right now this is gonna be the only thing standing is what's at the top and that's what's what's gonna happen that's what's gonna get us back to the base reality that's what I was telling you about the expanding spear and the accordion this thing is inhaling and exhaling and when this whole mountain get pressed in together all of these dimensional planes get merged into one and that's when the only thing that exists is the base reality but when it get broken up a big bang boom they all expand into these different dimensional planes like somebody opening up an accordion but then when it compresses it so we going from singularity to duality singularity to duality Inhale, exhale, entering hell and exiting hell, entering hell and exiting hell. The Mayan called it dark age, light age, dark age, light age. So when you press this thing together into one ball, that's the light age. That's when we're all one. 
that's when everything is on one accord, the singularity. Then, just like your stomach, it got the exhale, though. It got the inhale and exhale. So it bulges back out. They say, up, oh, there go the Big Bang. And when that spirit expands, it get hollow and everything gets separated, individuals, different, and that's what we in now. But our earth is right now, is contracting back in. Mic check. Mic check. Mike Jack. Jack. Yo. Yo. Yeah, I hear you. What about, what about now? now? You don't hear me now? Soon you can hear me now. Yo. Nothing now. Nothing now. What about now? Word, no.
What about now? Yo, I don't understand why you can't hear me because the level is... Hello. Uh, yeah, but I just went downstairs to warm up my food again. But um, yeah, I kind of want to get this shit working because I ain't changed shit from the last time. So I'm kind of curious, like, what the fuck? with it a minute so um he's going to call you or you want to go ahead and do that now <laughs> yeah i don't know i mean i'm getting feedback in my mic but it's just not coming through so i don't know what's up text you let me just fuck around with this for a little bit i don't know or well i'll still fuck around with it while we're in the game and shit i guess all right cool 